Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Brian and I ordered Tesla solar panels and two power walls. Now, according to Tesla's website, once you enter your address and put in your monthly electric bill, which mine is 160, it's a flat fee every month. So no matter what I use 700 kilowatts or 3000, it's always 160. But I think the idea of powering your home with solar panels and my electric car is amazing. It's incredible that we can harness that power. And I live in Houston, so we do get a lot of hurricanes in this area and power outages throughout the year are, I don't want to say common, but they do happen a lot. That's the reason why I want to add the power walls. So the system here tells me to add three power walls and I went ahead and added two because I was looking here and with two power walls it says I'm 98% self powered but one concern that I have now that I like look back into it is I do have two AC units and right here it's showing that you won't be able to power two with just two power walls I don't have an electric range. I don't have a well pump, but I do have a Model 3, so that would be checked out. And I also don't have a pool. And my uh, water heater is not electric, so I'm not concerned about that. But now that I look at it, if I were to get three power walls, I would be able to run both AC units off the power walls. So that's something I'm kind of considering now. I'm going to try and talk to the Tesla advisor tomorrow. And my other concern is I really don't need 16.32 kilowatt system because I think that's way too much for my house. But I need something a little bit more than this 12.24. I would like to add like this is 36 panels so I would like to have 40 panels so an additional four panels I'm gonna see if I can somehow get an additional four panels but I already did the contract for a 12.24 kilowatt solar system and two power walls I did have to take a lot of pictures so you got to go take a picture of your panel your meter your AC units the section where they're going to install the power wall so in that in my case the garage and I think that was it on the picture so if you're going to sign up to this make sure you give yourself 15 minutes because you're going to be running around your house taking pictures so basically I want to document this whole process I'd started this uh, about five days ago and so far all I've done is sent those pictures and I did apply for the loan. I got approved. I do have a, I think a 760 credit score right now. And this document, <clears throat> excuse me, this document shows uh, before the federal tax incentive, which will be 26% if they install it this year. So for the solar system, it's 24,600. The two power walls is 17,000. And then for installing the power wall with the solar, you get a thousand dollar discount. The installation of the power wall is three thousand, so it comes out to a total of forty two thousand seven hundred and fifty five. But after the federal tax credit, it is just above thirty thousand. I think thirty one thousand. Now I was using this website called PB Watts, and I tried to calculate everything as much as. Um, what Tesla gave me the information so I still don't have a layout plan for my house but using the information I put that it was a uh, roof mounted I actually looked at the degrees of my house implemented that and what else I think that was pretty much it so according to this website I should be generating about 15,126 kilowatts hours per year and Tesla's estimate is, let's see if I have a picture here. I don't think I have a picture of it. 
it was just over 14,000, so these guys are being a little bit more generous, I guess. But if I were to add four more panels, I would be able to generate, I would say about 16,000, 16, 17,000 kilowatt hours per year, and that would accommodate my house pretty much spot on what I'm using right now, even charging my electric car. So here in, I live in the Houston area, as I said, and we do, I guess I'm still trying to learn all this stuff guys. So bear with me. I do have my electricity from Reliant. And right now I do have that plan, which is 160, but I think that's going to go up because I've been charging my electric car. Well, I charge it at night, but I've been consuming more electricity than I'm pretty sure they anticipated. So once my one year contract is over in December, I'm probably going to switch over to this simple solar cell back, which um, if I were to use from the grid, it would be 15.9 cents. And then my energy that I sell them back would be at the same price. So it's pretty much I'll be getting credits for the energy I produce because I'm sure I'm not going to use everything I produce in the afternoon. And then in, in the nighttime when I do need some power walls don't cover it, I could just uh, use my credits. So that is the plan right now. Now there's a quite a bit of options that I can select here. The other one that looked uh, appealing was this green mountain which they do 15, basically 15 cents import, 15 cents export, and they don't charge the TDU. Of course, your system has to be under 25, which mine's about half that size. Unlimited credit rollover, cash on cancel, same thing with Reliant. Unlimited credit rollover, cash on cancel. So the other one, my brother-in-law, he actually has TXU. He has uh, solar panels that he got when his house, uh, when he purchased his house. The only thing I don't understand this, it says no buyback if net producer May through Jan. I'm guessing if you produce from May to January, you don't get no buyback. I'm not too sure what that means. So I'm not even going to mess around with that one. Then the other ones, it's kind of pretty much like a ripoff, in my opinion. That is, I don't even know, that's just berries. So ATG, you have to pay 16 or 6.3 cents per kilowatt plus the transmission distribution, which I'm not too sure how much that's going to be. And then you export at less. Same thing here. Evolve and Gritty, they're pretty much whatever the, the, the market is paying for the electricity. So yeah, here is another area that I, once I started reading more into this, um, it shows you what a power wall, power wall can back up. One power wall back ups your lights, electrical outlets, uh, 120 volt small appliances. With two, we can do same thing, but have a central AC unit, electric range stove, oven, compatible well pump, and a Tesla EV charging. Now with three, we can do two central air conditioners. One electrical range, well pump, we got a Tesla and non-Tesla EV charging. Electric dryer, water heater, and pool equipment. I don't have the pool equipment and electric water heaters so i think that's going to benefit me the most it's just that power wall is another seven thousand dollars and i've been like trying to play around with this so with three power walls a 12.24 kilowatt i'll be paying about roughly about another hundred dollars a month but that that's going to be with power walls which I don't have and I don't even have solar so I think it's a really good deal with the uh, incentives right now 
Just paying an additional hundred dollars to get solar and power walls. I do plan on paying this loan off in I don't know maybe four or five years. Get rid of it. Uh, once I finish paying off my Tesla in about another year and a half. So that's the plan, guys. I will keep you guys updated if you're interested. Once I get the solar or everything, hopefully the only the other concern I forgot to mention is my roof is ten years. I was on top yesterday. It looked fine to me, but I'm not a, a roofer expert. So if I do have to replace certain sections, they did say that uh, Tesla could uh, repair that for me or hire somebody to repair repair. But I think we're going to be good for good on that. But I'll keep you guys updated. Hope you found something useful out of this. And if you are trying to get um, Tesla solar, there'll be a link in my referral and you can get $100 towards your system. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.